Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at season three, episode three of The Chosen. I've done some videos in the past about The Chosen, but in this video, there's some theological topics that come up. We, do, we talk about the deity of Christ as it relates to his humanity, the hypostatic union. Could Jesus have been bad at sports? Could he have been unathletic? Uh, if so, does that mean that he is not fully God? Or it, And if the show's portraying that, does that mean that the show is heretical? And so I want to be examining that. We're going to be looking at Jesus's family, because um, the show talks a little bit about that. And we're going to be comparing what happened in Luke chapter 4, when Jesus was rejected at Nazareth, which is what the show uh, this particular episode is emphasizing. And so this is the first scene where Jesus and Mary are sitting down. Jesus is in Nazareth, sitting down, having a meal together. They're sharing bread, but it's just Jesus in Nazareth. Joseph isn't present. And there seems to be an understanding that Joseph most likely died. Now, the Gospels don't tell us this, but it most likely occurred because Jesus isn't present in... Jesus isn't present in... Uh, or, excuse me, Joseph isn't present in the Gospels. And so tradition tells us that most likely Joseph would have died. And I think that I think that's fair to say. It's because at the end, of the end of Jesus' life, when Jesus is on the cross, in the Gospel of John, uh, Jesus now, who is supposed to be, he's, he's the older brother. Jesus is the oldest brother. He has younger brothers, James and Jude, which we'll be talking about in a moment. At the old, he's the oldest on the cross. He tells John to take care of, of his mother, Mary. Um, and so that must have been, that could be the course that is evidence to support that Joseph was no longer present because he most likely died. And the show seems to imply that as well. But where, why aren't James and Jude, why aren't James and Jude in the dinner or at, in Nazareth with Mary at this dinner? Let's look. And let's read Luke chapter 4. And we'll read all this book well of him marveled at the gracious words that were coming from his mouth. That didn't necessarily happen in the show. Like, they didn't really do that. You got Lazarus speaking well of him. Wow, Jesus, keep going. And, but um, not really many people are saying some gracious, gracious words. And they said, is this not Joseph's son? That conversation seemed to happen in the show. And he said to them, doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, physician, heal yourself. That happened in the show. Uh, what have we heard yet you did at Capernaum, you do here in your hometown as well. Jesus performed miracles in Capernaum. He healed, um, he, he healed, Peter's, um, he healed Peter's mother-in-law of a fever in Capernaum. And he healed the man um, whose friends brought him, brought him to Jesus. And they, there was no room um, at this house. The tradition says that it might have been Peter's house. And they brought Jesus down. They brought uh, a man down who was... Um, who was paralytic, and Jesus healed him uh, in front of the Pharisees, and the Pharisees were saying some things in his heart, and Jesus healed them. That's a miracle that happened at Capernaum. Verse 23, and he said, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, um, you did miracles in Capernaum, verse 24, and he said, Truly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his own hometown. But in truth, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and a great famine came over the land, and Elijah was sent to none of them but only Zarephath in the land of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow, Gentile widow, and there were many lepers in Israel. And in the time of the prophet Elisha, none of them were, was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian, who was a Gentile. When they heard these things, all in the Sinai were filled with wrath. They're mad, right? Why are they mad? Because they believe that they are the chosen people of Israel, that they are the chosen people of God that we are God's chosen people. Gentiles are not God's chosen people. We are the chosen people. But all Jesus is doing is saying, do you remember Zarephath in the land of Sidon? Do you remember Naaman in Syria? They're not Jews. Yikes. Verse 28, and, the, and that did happen in the show, right? They, the show recounted that. And when they heard these things, all of a sudden they were filled with wrath and they rose up and drove him out of the town and brought him to the bow of the hill on which their town was built so that they could throw him down the cliff. But passing through their mist and went away. So interesting, right? Nazareth, was, they took him to the town where Nazareth, 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 they took him where the town was built. This hill, Nazareth was built on this hill so they could throw him down the cliff. But passing through their midst, he went away. Is it possible that, that, that the way it looked, that could have happened? Maybe. But overall, I think that this account was consistent with, 
I, I think that um, the show's account was consistent with John chapter six. I mean, with excuse me, with Luke chapter four. I think this the account that was portrayed in the show was consistent. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you watch the show Chosen? I enjoy the show Chosen. I enjoy it. Um, I'm okay if people don't want to watch it and don't like it. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And if you receive value from this video, like it and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for checking out the video today. Uh, feel free to ask any question you want in the comment section below, or you can simply comment and provide your perspective. Also, don't forget to like this video so that it'll boost up the algorithm so we can reach a broader audience and subscribe to this channel. Feel free to check out one of these videos. I believe they'll provide value to your life as well. And I'll see you next time.